What's up, addicts? Okay, so we are talking week three trade tips. These are players I want to talk about trading away and trading for. Uh, so let's start off with in the room, uh, and that is Josh Gordon being traded to the New England Patriots. Okay, so obviously we um, have dealt with Josh Gordon all offseason long. I've been a big proponent of stay away from him. I didn't see his opportunity in Cleveland being anything that you really wanted to try to go after. Now going to New England, there's a gigantic divide in the fantasy community, and it seems like people are either on one or two sides. Either Josh Gordon is going to be like the greatest thing that has ever happened to New England since Randy Moss, or he's going to be a complete bust and he might not even be on the team by next year. I think there's actually a middle ground, and what I honestly see happening is the middle ground. I think Josh Gordon goes to the Patriots. He doesn't come on right away because it's it's a tough playbook to learn. You have to build the trust of Tom Brady. He's not going to throw it to you if you don't have that trust. I don't think he starts out playing too hot. I think towards the end of the, end of the year, he's going to have some fantasy-relevant games where you're going to be happy you have him, and plenty of games where he puts up pretty low numbers and you're wondering why you started him that week. So overall, because of how diverse this divide is right now and how hot of a topic it is for Josh Gordon, I am in the camp of, if you still own him, see if you can get some ridiculous trade offer for him. Find the person in your league that loves Josh Gordon more than you and convince him that he's about to be Randy Moss and trade him away and try to get something fantastic out of the deal. Don't just take 50 cents on the dollar. I mean, maybe it turns out. I'm being honest with you here. I don't know the outcome. But my view is almost every single time a player gets traded in the middle of the season, especially in a receiver position, you have to develop that rapport with the quarterback. You have to develop the rapport with the coaching staff. You have to learn the playbook. Josh Gordon is a fantastic athlete, but can he do all those things now considering that he did not have an offseason to play with Brady, to play under Belichick? I don't think he's going to be able to do it that quickly. Now, next year, if he does stay with the Patriots and he actually gets mm -hmm. signed onto the Patriots for a longer-term deal, completely different story. I think next year, Josh Gordon, uh, hopefully, he, in my view, uh, hopefully he doesn't actually do too much this year, so that way next year his value is depressed. But anyway, my view on it is if you have Josh Gordon – Trade him away if you can get something really good out of the deal. But anyway, let's go through a few names. Um, these are players I would trade for. So right now, I still think Kareem Hunt is a great value to trade for right now. He hasn't hasn't blown up. He's barely gotten any targets because Mahomes is just throwing perfect passes everywhere. Eventually, defense are gonna, defenses are going to hone in on that. Mahomes isn't going to be thrown for six touchdowns every game, and they're going to have to turn to Hunt to help get them out of the muck once defenses figure out how to stop Mahomes. Uh, I also think Jordan Howard is a good trade target. Jerry Cohn is dealing with an injury. Howard is getting a lot of receptions. They didn't have a great wrestling game on Monday night, but it looks like that they want him to be their true bell cow. And because he had a down game, this is a good time to go after him. Uh, I would also say Mark Ingram is a good trade target right now. He, we're about two weeks away from his suspension. Um, and right now, Alvin Kamara, even though he's killing it for fantasy, is barely rushing the ball at all. Uh, the Saints sorely miss Mark Ingram, and assuming that he can stay healthy, they're going to be using him just like they were last year. And then another uh, name, if you can get him for cheap, it's worth a prospective shot, is Aaron Jones. He's coming back from that suspension this week. Uh, Jamal Williams has played a lot, but he hasn't done a lot fantasy-wise. Maybe Aaron Jones ends up giving the Packers running game a bit of a spark. We'll see. Wide receivers I would target this week. I would go hard after Odo Beckham Jr. I do. He does this every year. Every time they play the Cowboys, with the exception of that one game, Odell always has a bad game. I know a lot of people are freaking out about the Giants' O-line this year, but it hasn't been that great for a while. Odell Beckham Jr. is getting tons of targets. He's already had like 28 targets this year, and it's going to continue. He is still an elite wide receiver one, and when you have a bad game, go after the owner hard to see if they're 0-2 and, and Odell Beckham failed him. They needed him to win on Sunday, and he didn't. This might be a, your last chance to go after him and get him. Uh, Devin Funchess is a good name uh, that I would go after in the wide receiver column. Uh, I would go after Keelan Cole. I know he just blew up on Sunday, but I think that it's going to be more often than he does that. So if you can get him now before he becomes even more expensive, might be a good idea. And then Corey Davis, if you don't get him this week, you'll probably get one more chance next week since they're playing the Jaguars this week. But I think Corey Davis is due for a big workload with Delaney Walker out. From a tight end position, there's not really much going on. If you don't have one of the main guys, you're really hurting right now. But David Njoku started the season off slowly, 
and you can probably get them for a deep discount right now. And once they finally bench Tyrod and put Baker Mayfield in, uh, maybe it helps uh, David and Joku a lot. So get him, stash him on your bench for when Mayfield comes in. Okay, players to trade away. I'm trading away Carlos Hyde. I think he's had two uh, deceptively good fantasy games when he hasn't actually looked that good on the field. Uh, they're going to use Duke Johnson a little bit more, maybe. But they still have Nick Chubb waiting in the wings, and I don't think Carlos Hyde continues doing as well as he's been. Matt Burita, he's the number one uh rush yards leader in the nfl right now that is not going to continue definitely try to sell high if you can uh marshawn lynch as well he's running well and if you have to keep him on your team don't sell him cheap but if you can sell him high i would do it and then philip Lindsay, i think somewhere along the lines of like only like six or seven undrafted free agents have ever exceeded 800 yards in their opening season so i don't think that this success continues with Lindsay. i'm, I'm still betting against him if you can sell him high do it uh, wide receivers, Amari Cooper had a good game. Yay! That means you can sell him high, so you don't have to deal with that guy on your team anymore. So if you have Amari Cooper, this is a good chance to get rid of him if you didn't already sell him. Uh, and then Deshaun Jackson, I think, is another good sell this week because he's had two blow-up weeks, and he's not going to sustain that. Uh, from a tight end perspective, hey, look, Jared Cook. Oh, Jared Cook. Yeah, Jared Cook is uh, still playing well for some reason. It only happens for like the first couple weeks of the season. So if you can find a sucker that will give you a good deal for it, you can get rid of him. If, obviously, you need a decent tight end in return, but um, this is people I would sell high, not just sell for the sake of selling. Um, and then Jordan Reed. Oh, hey, guess what? Jordan Reed isn't hurt. So sell him before he gets hurt. <laughs> But anyway, those are guys I would trade away. I already told you guys who I'd trade for. If you guys have questions, uh, comment below. I can answer your questions here. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you, I will answer questions there. If you have specific ones, then I can either answer them in the video or just answer them on Twitter. Uh, and if you guys want, I post waiver wire videos every week and I send out lists of who I think you should pick up on the waiver. You can subscribe to that by clicking the link in the description box. Anyway, hope you guys found this helpful and uh, I will be posting more videos leading up to week three. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace.